Hello everybody, Animal Man here. Today we're going to uh, fix one of my fishing rods. I actually just fixed the other two. I bought a little kit from Bass Pro and I fixed the tips that got smashed off my two other rods and uh, I'm out of tips so I'm going to show you what to do. So um, this is three rods I broke and I keep them underneath the fold-up couch in my travel trailer and they got smashed by various things, you know, pulling things in and out. So I lost the tips on three of my rods, three out of four rods. So this one I, I quick fixed with a um, with a safety pin and duct tape and um, you just take a safety pin and you should have a bunch of these in your tackle box probably anyway. You should always have safety pins or paper clips. They'll work too and duct tape. And I used my pliers there, my Leatherman which I always have and you should have one of those in your tackle box too. And I was able to bend it. You bend just the end you know, the end of it with the with the hole, you just went meow, bent it, then I compressed that and I had it on the tip of the rod like that and I just wrapped it up with duct tape and I was able to go fishing, I went saltwater fishing, caught some porgies, caught a few um, a few little sharks, you know, foot long, 15 inch little sharks little dogfish sharks and um, and it worked, you know, but it started to slide down from using it, it went meow, ended up about there so I just took it off and I'm going to show you how to do uh, more of a you know semi-permanent slash permanent fix using just a paper clip but we're going to use thread and crazy glue this time with it to attach it so you need the pliers again so here's what we're going to do we're first going to squeeze this just so it's not so fat we're going to squeeze it down a little bit That's probably good. And now we're going to bend it. Because if you look at the rod, you know, they all have an angle to them. So we don't want it straight. We want it to have a nice little angle. So we're going to just bend this tip. It's about right. And then we're going to clip off the end of this. The sharp tip. And we're going to clip off the, uh, the part that holds the tip in also. Get rid of it. So there's one. Here's the other one. So here's what we got. And now we're going to attach this onto the rod. I'm going to need to squeeze this together a little bit more too. So it will attach better. That's pretty good. Alright. So you can use just sewing thread. This came in a little repair kit that I got, and it came with lacquer also. But you don't need that, all you need is just thread from the sewing machine and uh, crazy glue, do the same thing. So I'm gonna get a bunch of this thread out here. And to start it, I'm gonna put a dab of crazy glue on the tip. And here's where the tip broke off. It's got a little bit left of the old rod tip. Normally I'd want to clip that off. I'm going to leave that on there because I think it'll give it a little bit more to hold on to when it's wrapped so it won't want to slide off. So I'm going to put just a drop of crazy glue where I'm going to start my thread. And where the heck is the end of it? Black thread on black top is not a good combination. Oh well. I'm outside a library. I'm here to do an animal show for the kids here in about a half hour so I do things you know I bring things to do wherever I am and I finagle and just get it wrapped around started so it grips on good hopefully I don't glue myself to it anymore now we're gonna oops, we're gonna hold this on with one hand and we can adjust it a little bit later on we don't need it to be perfect yet there we go. That's where I want it. You can see that. Now we're going to start wrapping tightly. Do a bunch of wraps at the end for strength. And then we're going to start to wrap down. And you always want to keep it tight. And we're going f for 
quick and easy fix here, not for looks. It's not going to be the prettiest job ever. I'm just going to wrap it all the way down to the end. Then I'm going to put a drop of glue on there and cut this off. And then we're going to put lacquer on the whole thing. That'll seal it and harden the whole thing. Farewell and adieu to you fair Spanish ladies. Farewell and adieu to you ladies of Spain. Show me the way to go home. I'm tired and I want to go to bed. I had a little drink about an hour ago and it's gone right to my head. Wherever I may roam, by land or sea or foam, you can always hear me singing this song. Show me the way to go home. Bum, bum. Bum. Show me the way to go home. Bum, bum. I'm tired and I want to go to bed. Shh, shh, shh. Had a little drink about an hour ago and it's got right to my head. Start the engine, chief. <laughs> One of the awesomest movies ever. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Mr. Hooper? Tie me a sheep shank. Mr. Hooper! I'm sorry if you find this annoying as hell. It's how I amuse myself while I'm working. And I talk to myself all day anyway, so I might as well do it to the camera. It's not as creepy. <laughs> Alright, so we're almost at the end. And after the end, we're going to um, keep going for about a third or half an inch, just for some extra strength there. Oops. I overlapped it by accident. Alright, it's a quarter inch, I'm done. Drop a crazy glue before I cut it. Right where the end is. Okay. Scissors. Should have had them out before. But I didn't. Alright, good. So, it's attached. It's not attached good. We need to we need to either crazy glue that or lacquer it to harden that up. See that there. And it's in line with the other. Here we go. So now we're gonna put the lacquer on. I hate the smell of this stuff. Then I'll probably end up doing a second coat of this also. Just for giggles. But you don't need to buy a kit to fix your rods. You can you can do a lot of it yourself. You know, I've had reels come off before and you just electric tape them back on or duct tape them back on. I've zip tied them on before. You know, zip ties and duct tape, you should you should always have zip ties and duct tape. And your tackle box, you should have um, some kind of multi-tool for getting hooks out of fish and clipping line off your lures and all different, you know, fixing rods, all different things. But you should have that. You should have multi-tool, duct tape, paper clips, or um, safety pins. 
things like that. It can help, you know, fix a lot of things. Let's get that last thing to stick down. There we go. All right, so I'm just going to close this up, wait a few minutes for it to dry, and do another coat. But that's it. So I hope you guys like this. Thank you very much. Keep fishing.